Hi, I'm Jan Rezab, and this is Social Media Minute. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Facebook's and Instagram feed, as they are not chronological feeds, and Instagram moved from a chronological feed to, uh, to one selective of engagement and behavior. There's been many talk of how this feed works. Now, Instagram themselves have published uh, a piece where they said, okay, here are the myths of Instagram's feed and what it does not do. So we want to make a quick summary of those for you. So first of all, they said uh, that, you know, the chronological order is, is not coming back, that this is a, a myth and that the selective order is definitely here to stay. They also said they do not hide posts in the feed. You'll see everything if you kind of scroll, scroll through. Uh, that feed ranking doesn't, doesn't favor photo or video. That basically, of course, if a user starts engaging uh, much, much more with video, it'll start, he'll start seeing more video. If he starts engaging more with photo, that, but it doesn't universally favor one over, over the other. The Instagram feed also doesn't favor people who use a, a lot more stories. This is not a real thing. Instagram also doesn't downrake users for posting too frequently. Of course, if you, if you spam the feed, you eventually will, but it doesn't do it for, for, for just pure frequency. Uh, it doesn't give extra presence for personal accounts or business account. It really depends on the content itself. And shadow banning is not a real thing. Instagram doesn't hide people by posting too many hashtags or taking too many other actions. So I hope these are just a quick summary of some of the myths that were on Instagram. Obviously, we'll keep you updated if we understand more things about the feed. In the meanwhile, use this to, you know, share it with your, with your colleagues, with marketers to understand what to do and what to not do and what just are total myths uh, on the platform. Thanks for watching. See you next Monday.